Coastal North Carolina is never static. Mother Nature calls the shots year-round, especially during hurricane season. But people who live here need help containing the forces of the Atlantic Ocean. Jetties are one way to help keep navigation channels from accumulating too much sand carried by currents. At Masonboro Inlet in Wilmington, the problem is that constant pounding by waves has damaged the jetty. That's when problem solving by engineers comes in. To repair the jetty, engineers first needed to analyze the situation, then make numerous calculations to ensure the jetty would work effectively. They asked such questions as, how large do protective rocks have to be, where and how high should they be placed, and does the base of the jetty have enough stability so that it doesn't sink into the ocean floor? Problem solving is what engineers do. A lot of the time, they simply have fun. If you go to any beach in the world, what do you see? You see kids playing in the sand. They build sand castles, they build moats, and they do it for fun. As an engineer, we get to do that for for uh, a living. And for every project, there's a problem, and we try to solve the problem with uh, collecting data, doing analysis, design a, a solution, and implementing a solution. So uh, whether it's a structural engineer, coastal engineer, hydraulic engineer, civil engineer, um, biologists, environmental scientists, all those types of disciplines and folks have touched this project over time. Uh, do monitoring to make sure that we, have, we minimize impacts to the environment. Um, make sure we do any mitigation requirements for the project. So there's uh, calculations, data collections, evaluations of data. We get to do that all the time. Also get to come out on the beach and build things for fun, so for real. So just like the kids on the beach, we get to do it every day. Civil engineer Bill Dennis likes the challenge of designing projects like the jetty repair. He uses not only hard science to come to a conclusion, but he also uses his institutional knowledge gained over the years of how best to work with Mother Nature. It's always a challenge any time, uh, you know, dealing in uh, problems in the coast, coastal world uh, because it's, it's uh, at times more of a, an art than it is a science. So there's a balance and it requires a lot of like engineering judgment to solve problems and uh, um, Sometimes you just have to uh, take your best guess and you know make the best approach in trying to fix it, and then monitor it, see how it works, and uh, learn from that. So the next time you, you have a similar problem, you can do the same thing. During Engineers Week, students who show an aptitude for math and science are encouraged to explore the different facets of engineering, and it's never too early to explore a path towards engineering. That path is is uh, is starting to take shape a lot earlier than we thought. You know, around, uh, you know, middle school uh, age, they, they really need to uh, uh, start thinking about what, what type of future they're going to they're gonna want to have and at least expose them to the areas where they have their aptitudes so that when they, when they reach high school, they can already be on a math science engineering track that's going to allow them uh, to get into college and, and to pursue uh, the vocation that, that best suits them. A career in engineering is challenging and rewarding. The focus for a lot of engineers is the nation's infrastructure. And parents can help their children plan for that possible career. All our infrastructure across the country is, is uh, in, in disarray and needs repair. As a parent, all parents want their kids to have a, be happy and have an exciting job. And uh, to me, you can do both. You can have an exciting career and job, make a difference in the world by being an engineer or scientist and make things better for the rest of the society. If you'd like to learn more about engineering, go to www.eweek.org.